Hey everybody, I'm going to be talking about how to place outlets in a electrical project. So if you see here, I've got a, I've got Revit open and I've got a power floor plan. So if we drill down into electrical, or actually drill down into views, electrical, power, and then floor plans, we can grab the number one power and this should be set up in your default electrical for um, template file that you get upon downloading Revit so after having it open I'm gonna draw a few walls so I'm gonna do the WA command or I can come up here into the architectural uh, tab into the built panel and we can select walls there. Can draw it out. I'm just gonna do just a quick box. We can also, you know, for example, if we wanted to, we can come up here to the draw. And we get this little mini panel here with a number of options. We can actually choose the rectangle option and then draw that. And since that's what I want to do, I'm gonna grab that. But first I have to delete these two walls. So I'll, I'll escape out of the command. And we'll notice real quick if we have this checked we can't grab it and that's a nice thing to do when we're in these views so that we don't if we're if we're drawing with other disciplines for example if we have mechanical equipment that's showing up in these plans this is a good way to keep us from grabbing it so if you notice real quick we can see that the that these walls are actually grayed out and if we come up here into the systems tab and on the panel over here on the electrical or on the ribbon over here on the electrical panel we can grab cab cable trays we can draw just a quick one and we can see it's kind of a, a darker black the reason why is it's kind of telling you hey this is set to the, like an underlay view and this is set um, to kind of be your main main elements within this view and the reason why that is is if we actually come over here into disciplines we can see that this is set to electrical which is the default for these views we can actually change it to coordination and it's going to update everything and we can kind of grab it but if we go back to electrical, go down here, uncheck this, we can grab it now. So I can grab it, delete them, and then I'm going to grab this, delete it, come up here to the architectural tab, and then on the built panel on the ribbon, I'm going to grab the wall command. I'm going to come over here to this little draw panel. Click the square. And I'm not too worried about some of this other stuff like the, the connection heights and stuff like that. So I'm just going to pick a point and then pick another point. Escape. What, another thing is, is if we're doing selection boxes, it's not going to grab those. So it will grab the other elements but it won't grab your walls unless you specifically press on them so now let's draw a floor and let's do pick walls so if you <clears throat> come up here to the draw panel again you can see here we can actually come down here and pick all the walls and we can also tab into it and select all the walls at once and if we want to switch sides, we can do this. Just use these little up and down arrows. And then after we're finished, we come up here and click the check mark. <clears throat> so we see here this little error. Lines cannot intersect each other. And we can see right here there's actually one that's in orangish red. So if I say continue, I can go check that out. So we can see down here that when I selected all the walls, it it overlapped these two so if I do the trim command which is TR or if we come up here to this button right here which is going to be on this added added um, tab within within our our ribbon and that tab is only added when we're either in a, a command such as this when we're creating a floor boundary so after I get into the trim command I can actually select these trim them and then press check. So again, we see this, which we didn't. I didn't see the first time. So I'll continue, 
come down here TR select these two walls or these two lines press OK and now we got a floor so for placing outlets it's pretty simple if we come to the systems tab on the ribbon we can come all the way over here to the electrical panel and we'll see we got devices here so we have a number of options so lighting nurse call security electrical fixtures so that's what we're gonna focus on so we'll just do a a, a standard duplex receptacle receptacle and we can simply come up to a wall and we can place it and we'll get that the annotation symbol for our outlets and we can only place on vertical faces such as a wall because if you come up here to placement you can see that we are placing on a vertical face and we can actually change the elevation over here at, currently is set at one foot six inches so say we want this at four feet we can come in here and then click that come back in here maybe change it back to one and six maybe we want to place it over here this is kind of a very large area so maybe we want to have some outlets in the middle on the floor so if we actually come over here and place on face we can place them in different areas on the floor and I escaped out of that command so if I get back into it we can also place on a work plane and and we can see here placement on plane we can select a number of planes we can also manually pick it so if we want to pick another plane we'll get this dialog box it says pick plane and we can have a name which is going to give us the same option of picking some planes these planes have been created when the levels have been created so they're there and we can place on them we can also pick lines so if we pick the plane we can actually come in here and pick a wall and then it's going to want us to create an elevation so that we can see it when we're placing it on that plane and it's not it's going to have a different elevation and stuff when it's placing it on there so for whatever reason if you wanted to do that you could and if we open up an electrical view you can see that I can place it anywhere on here and the elevation that it's going to have so 14 feet from the floor I'm going to exit out this elevation. Another good thing to do is actually have an elevation view open or maybe even a section. So if we create a section. So I did SEC and it's actually I have an updated cube keyboard shortcut. But if you come up here to your annotate tab, you can see <clears throat> actually it's your view tab. You can see you get sections right there. Maybe place a select or your section on the location that you're placing the outlet. You can right click on it and go to view. And we can actually take a look at it real quick and see where our outlet sits. And maybe for coordination reasons, you know, if there's mechanical equipment or a number of other items, you can quickly visually see if what you're putting in there is clashing or where it needs to be. So it's a good habit to get into is by creating a little section view. You can also, if I do WT, which is window tile, I'm going to close some of these other ones. I'm going to do WT again. I'm going to close this lighting plane I have open, WT again. So, you know, for example, we placed an outlet over here. We can actually grab this. Let's do that again by doing the R command and then pressing space or I can come up here and do the rotate which is RO or R in space depending on your configurations do a 90 degree angle and then I can grab and move it and now I get to see that area as well so you know kinda keeping a a section box you can move around that way you can get an idea of you know uh, where these things are going, if they're clashing with something. Another cool thing to do is when we're in here, if we just select that item, we can come up here to it and then create a selection box. 
click that and then now we have that location so again we can use it for coordination reasons kind of get an idea of if that area is going to be clashing with anything and yet if you see this example we actually don't see a section box so I'm going to turn it off turn it back on then come in here and then go into view or press VV to go in your visual graphics or you can come up here on your view tab and then on the graphics panel we can do visibility graphics from there as well come in here in, here in your annotation category press S it'll quickly jump you down there and we can see section boxes is checked off apply press ok and then we can reselect that and then do another selection box and we can do so clicking for example we are really zoomed out pretty far in that view if we do a double click on our middle mouse button we can actually do a zoom extents and get us in pretty closely or we have these options as well zoom out two times zoom zoom to fit zoom all to fit zoom sheet so play around with those and see you know your best best options for the work that you're doing we can use these selection or these section boxes to get an idea for coordinating or clashing with anything and so I think that's about it that I have for now the just keep in mind when you're you're drawing stuff up to you know have a section or elevation to help with you while you're 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 drawing you know trying to help coordinate those those different things and really you know making sure that your time is is effect, you know effective and efficient as possible another thing is is in these views we can see the two things we can see the modeled element and the annotation element so if we actually come down here we can set it to fine and only see the model categories and we can also set it to course and it depends really what these elements are made of so within the family it may have some attributes applied to the visibility parameter that say hey only turn on during um, fine or course views so keep that in mind and maybe it's just you know worth jumping into the family and playing with it and kind of seeing how that operates so I hope this helps, and I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.